Is it recording? Ah. Sunscreen Sunday series is back. Da, 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 da. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Louie. I have a two-year-old daughter named Lily and we make videos about motherhood and beauty and lifestyle. So for today's video, this is going to be a beauty video and I am back again. This series is back. This is the Sunscreen Sunday series. My old lovers fall into my covers where they sink one by one. So we are going to be reviewing sunscreen products and I will be uploading it every Sunday. I don't know because it just starts with letter S and sunscreen starts with letter S. So that's why, to be honest, that's the reason. And yeah, um, I will be reviewing a bunch of sunscreen products and I will be uploading it every Sunday. And maybe I might be doing this every month, twice a month. Who knows? Depends on how many sunscreen products are there out in the market, like newly released sunscreen products. And I will make sure that the products are available in the Philippines. And if not, I might be doing a giveaway if I will see. Spoiler. But for now, this is not a giveaway. Um, we'll see first. I will get back to you. Anyway, so um, I always start by saying that I'm not an expert. Whatever I will be sharing to you, it's plainly based on my observation and my experience. Nothing professional. And just to be fair to all the brands out there, I do have five criterias. These are just simple criterias, but I would really, really appreciate if all will be met <laughs> demanding so it has to be lightweight i'm talking about the sunscreen it has to be lightweight not oily or greasy no white cast compatible with makeup and budget friendly for today we are going to be reviewing the bondi sands hydra uv protect so this is an Australian brand and I think this is available in Shopier Lazada. I will link it down below. Okay, this will be the drill. If I will be reviewing a sunscreen product that I would turn out to like or love and if it's not available in the Philippines, I will be doing a giveaway and I will be giving maybe five to five lucky winners. So let's just hope that this is available in the Philippines. If not, I would be happy to do a giveaway. But yes, it will be on the description down below. I still have to do my research. I don't know if it's available. If it is, it will be flashed on the screen. You will know. Anyway, so this is an Australian brand. And um, it says right here, broad spectrum UVA and UVB protection. And it's SPF 50. It's face lotion, it's plant-based hydration, and it's reef-friendly. Australian, they're very protective when it comes to environment, when it comes to animals. So I know this is cruelty-free, this is even plant-based, which is amazing. Anyway, um, this is 50 ml, 
and I think I forgot I bought this a long long time ago but I just used this now so this is going to be a first impression and um, I will put the price somewhere on the screen and this is a chemical lotion and by the way if you are new to this channel I'm gonna put uh, the link somewhere there or down on the description box I do have some FAQs about sunscreen the types of sunscreen and you know just a few information about sunscreen and yeah it'll be on that video which you will be seeing up or down anyway so it says right here enjoy a sun soaked day um, with your Hydra UV Protect SPF 50, this is a face lotion. Providing UVA and UVB protection, our formula is infused with ethically sourced algae, 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 whatever, for deep hydration whilst offering an invisible, non greasy finish, can be worn alone or under makeup. I love that they're very specific with their claims and it says here re-friendly fragrance free paraben free sulfate free step number one shake well before you use step number two apply liberally and evenly to all unprotected areas 15 to 20 minutes that's why I know it's a chemical sunscreen because you have to wait 24 minutes before sun exposure and then reapply every two hours or more um, or more often when sweating and after swimming exercise or when you dry your face so I love their packaging look at that I love the color and um, basing on there I'm not gonna say all the ingredients because I can't even pronounce it what I'm after is that I hope there is no oxybenzone because oxybenzone is not good for our skin so nothing here which is good okay I applied the makeup at around I'm gonna insert the time right here and today I don't have my phone with me because actually I don't know if you can hear Lily I'm using my phone to keep an eye on her because she's downstairs just playing so I don't know what time it is I'm gonna be putting it on the screen um, yes after a couple of minutes so maybe 30 minutes I think 30 minutes have passed after application let's see the product itself so I'm gonna wait I'm gonna do the review now okay so claro so the product itself it's creamy and um, the scent wait yeah it is creamy it is white duh and it smells like sunscreen like your typical sunscreen like yeah and there it's quite thick actually but then it just blends easily and you would really know that the the name itself hydra i'm supposing water so you can really sense that it's really really hydrating for your skin their claim though is that it's non-greasy it does not feel greasy but right after application i'm gonna insert the photo right here my face looked a bit oily and now i can't really say it's mattifying it's matte I can still sense that there's a hint of oil to it even if even though I've already set my face I've already applied a matte foundation it is still giving me that a bit of sticky feeling and for reference I do have dry skin I get oily on the t-zone this is not oil this is just my highlighter <laughs> anyway back to the review so yeah, as you can see there, I can sense that there is oil, which is okay. Um, I don't mind. It's what sunscreen usually do, but I was hoping that it would dry it down to a matte finish. But that's okay because I do have dry skin, so it would be good for me. But if you do have oily skin, you might want to put powder on top or else you will look really shiny and kaniha i've already set my face with powder and it's looking okay i don't look shiny i just like i mentioned can still sense na it's a bit sticky okay so let's just go straight to the criteria is it lightweight i can definitely sense that there's something on my face so 
With this criteria, I would not give it a star because it will just be a yes or no, okay? So it's not lightweight. Second, not oily or greasy. It looks oily or greasy, but once you put makeup on, once you put powder, it doesn't look oily. But once you touch your face, I can sense that there is a bit of oil. So I would say no to this as well. Number three, no white cast. So I'm gonna insert my photo right here. No white cast, so that's a good thing. Number four, is it compatible with makeup? Yes, it is. I am gonna insert photo as well after makeup application. So my makeup stayed in place. It's, it doesn't interfere with the application. And even after, I don't see any creasing. I don't see any, you know. Um, we'll see if I would look oily later on. But for the last 50, uh, 20, 30 minutes or even an hour, my makeup is looking okay. Okay, so with the price, I already know how much it is. It's $10. So $10 is okay for me. My budget would be 500, 100 to 500 pesos. So if it's above 500, I would say it's pricey. But since it's less than 500, it's I think 360. If we convert $10, 370, 400 pesos is a yes for me. So so out of the five criterias, it met three out of the five, which is okay. Would I recommend this product? I would recommend this product if you do have dry skin. It would be favorable. But if you do have oily skin, you might oil even more. What I like about this product is that it's environmental friendly. I love their formula. And yes, so there's nothing really much to say. So what I will do is I am just going to do some chores and then I will be checking in maybe after two hours because that's what the um, instruction said. You have to reapply every two hours. So I will be back. I'm back. So, th so this is what it looks like after two hours of application. So far, so good. So yeah. Like I said, all in all, I would recommend this product if you do have dry skin, but if you have oily skin, um, it's a bit greasy and oily, but it's nothing dramatic, nothing major. Uh, you just have to stay away. If you just set it right, it will be okay for me. So yeah. That's it. I hope you find this video helpful. Um, thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed. Stay safe, everyone. And we will see you on our next one. Bye.